Well, hey, hey everybody, it's Ross, and yeah, I know, it's Christmas time. Christmas time is already here. The year flew by just like a minute. But I was on my way outside Kroger buying groceries, and guess who I ran into? The Salvation Army girl. She was really, really nice. She said hello, going in, and goodbye, coming out. She's smiling. I went directly over to her. I said, gold and silver I do not have, but what I have I freely give. No, I didn't say that, but that's what Peter said about salvation. I went up right directly to her, and I said, I have one question because I have to go. If you died right now and your heart stopped beating, where would you go, heaven or hell? And she said, heaven! She actually shouted out the word heaven! And I said, why? Just that, why? And she said, because uh, uh, um, um, God is... Um, 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 uh, she stumbled on it. Wrong answer. Usually, most likely, a person that's saved by grace through faith alone in Christ alone, they have been born again, which you have to have, have, to have been to enter the kingdom of heaven, gives me an answer. Well, I've been saved by grace, or I've been saved, I was saved at a, whatever the, the testimony is. She had no testimony. Salvation army. Salvation army. Army, the Salvation Army girl did not have a testimony or didn't, she didn't have a, an answer to my simple question, where would you go, heaven or hell? She had no clue. And I was gonna go get a track from, and I had ran out of tracks on the way in. And I said, can you get a website from your cell phone? I see you talking on, to, on it. She said, of course. I said, well, when you get some time, go to a website, needgod.com, and I pointed at my hat. She goes, Oh, I sure will. Thank you so much. Needgod.com and see if you're a good enough person to go to heaven. She said, I definitely will before I go to bed tonight. So I didn't have a track. I went directly to her, asked a simple question in a friendly manner. She was very friendly, but she did not know why she said heaven. So most likely she doesn't have a testimony or she considers herself good enough to go to heaven. So I'm going to challenge you. Salvation Army, Salvation Army people that are ringing the bell, go up to them after you've bought your groceries and simply ask them the question, if you died today, where would you go? Heaven or hell? And if they say heaven, ask them why. No big conversation, no theological debate. Just ask them why. If they don't know, ask them if that bothers them. So, here's my tip. During the holidays, it's easy to evangelize during the holidays, most people are friendly. So even if you don't have a track, I ran out of them. But I had that needgod.com. Always remember needgod.com. And most people can get it on their smartphones now. So I challenge you to witness to a Salvation Army person outside your neighborhood grocery store. Until next time, hope to see you down the road. Maybe it's in local missions in Atlanta. If you want to get involved in what God is doing in our ministry, serving God by serving others, no passport needed, go to readytogoministries.com or go to Google, Ready to Go Ministries, or our Facebook page. We're everywhere. So if you want to get plugged in to use your spiritual gifts for the glory of God, go to Ready to Go Ministries. You know, evangelism in most churches are and is the last thing that people stand in line for. Are you, are you feeling me? So until next time, God bless you and your family. I hope you're saved by grace through faith alone in Christ alone. Until next time, see you down the road. God bless you. Take care.